All right, guys, welcome to another uh, tutorial. This is for advanced JDAM uh, training, and it's how to drop multiple JDAMs uh, on a target in one pass at the same time. So let's say you're in a situation where you have a heavily defended airbase and you're trying to attack uh, an ammo dump as well as some MIGs that are on a runway. Uh, well, you know, you don't want to be reattacking. Uh, doing wagon wheels and uh, of ground attack and reattacking that target area you just want to do one pass and leave the area uh, so JDMs again as we've learned in the previous videos are great for pinpoint attacks on fixed targets including buildings parked aircraft uh, things like that uh, so what I'm going to show you in this video is how to accomplish that and BMS is, is a little bit different uh, in that uh, and I don't know anything about you know how you actually employ the JDAM and the F-16, uh, but I imagine that you would be able to assign uh, specific uh, JDAMs, specific uh, coordinates before you drop them. So let's say, for instance, you know if I wanted to assign you know JDAM one to the MiG-15, JDAM two to a hangar, JDAM three to uh, another MiG-15, JDAM four to the runway. Uh, I imagine that you could pre-program that using the MFDs and then in theory you could release all four at the same time by pressing pickle and they would each guide to their own target but you can't do that in BMS okay um, the other thing that you can't do is let's say you're ready to go you're in CCRP mode you hold the pickle button down and, and you drop the first one uh, and then change the waypoint and then let's say you pickle again to drop the second one change the waypoint pickle again you can't do that either the computer will not let you drop uh, after you drop the first one in CCRP mode uh, if you drop it in CCIP let's say you know you got a JDM and you want to drop it in CCIP mode well guess what it's not going to have GPS guidance because CCIP mode is just unguided uh, when would you use a JDM in CCIP mode let's say you uh, you know you, you destroyed your primary target and you saw some targets of opportunity uh, that are not you don't have any pre-brief mode you haven't designated them as a target in your data cartridge well you could roll in and treat it just like a regular dumb bomb let's say there's a moving tank and you want to roll in on it with a JDAM or you can treat it exactly like a like a dumb bomb so that's a scenario where you, where you would use that but in this video I'd like to focus on CCRP and dropping multiple ones so let's talk a little bit about this screen here and this is the SMS screen you notice we have four GBU 38s, which are JDAMs. Uh, we're using Profile 1, and Profile 2 takes us to CCIP mode. You don't have to worry about that. Um, one means when you hit the pickle button, it's just going to drop one JDAM. If, if I hit this again, it says one pair. Well, when I hit the pickle button, or when I hold it down, consent to release in CCRP mode, it's going to release two at the same time at the same target. Okay, so let's say you have a hardened bunker and you, wanna, you want two JDAMs to impact that same bunker at the same time to give you more firepower, well, that's why you would use pairs. Um, but we're just going to use single, okay? The default uh, spacing, and you can see impact spacing, this is a thing that uh, can be kind of confusing at first. The default impact spacing is 175 feet, okay? Just think of the B-52. B-52, they're flying. Uh, they're going to allow the computer to release all of those bombs, okay? And they're going to release in a straight line. Let's say that B-52 driver, he wants the impact spacing between each bomb crater or bomb impact point to be 50 feet. Well, you would just set this to 50, and the computer would calculate exactly when it would have to drop each bomb to give you 50 feet of impact spacing on the ground. I hope that makes sense. Okay, and then ripple simply means how many bombs are you going to drop per pass? Okay, so in this scenario, we want to drop all four bombs in one pass. If you wanted to drop two, you'd put two, etc. So we're going to drop four bombs in one pass, and the impact spacing, because we can't release and then change a waypoint and then release and then change a waypoint and then release, we can't do that. We're just going to set the impact spacing to infinity or the maximum, which is 999. Okay. Uh, it's not really infinity, it's it's a thousand feet. Okay. What that will enable us to do is it'll give us the maximum amount of time between the first release, it's gonna wait until a thousand feet spacing, and then it's gonna do another release. This gives us the maximum amount of time that the flight computer
can do in between bomb releases. Uh, so essentially what you'll see me do is we'll hold down the pickle. The first one is just like normal CCRP. You hold down the pickle about 10 seconds out from the target. Here's your countdown timer right here. And then you'll allow the, uh, the computer to release the first bomb. Then you're going to switch waypoint. And I'll go into TGP here. So I have a... Uh, Let's see, I have a, uh, a MIG at waypoint 10, uh, center target at waypoint 11, an F4 at, at waypoint 12, and another F4 at waypoint 13. So I'll start with 10, um, and we'll release all of them. Just one more note about impact spacing. Uh, if this is great for CBUs, let's say you see tanks in a long line on a highway or a convoy, okay? Uh, the CBU-97 has a area of coverage of 1,500 feet by 500 feet wide, okay? So you can't do 1,500 here, but let's say you wanted to, you had, you know, uh, four uh, CBUs, okay? Well, you would ripple four, and the maximum you could do, do 1,000 feet spacing, and you could get the maximum coverage on those uh, CBUs without overlap. I hope that makes sense. Um, all right, so let's drop these bombs and I'll, I'll show you how it's done. So I'm flying at Angels 20, 20,000 feet, about 300 knots, nice and stable on this heading. And uh, we'll wait till we're about 10 seconds out and we'll release all of the, uh, the bombs. So their uh, first target is that MIG here. And again, you got to fly a nice profile. Try to stabilize your airspeed. Try not to be in a turn. The big thing is being in a turn. Uh, the computer just doesn't like that. So there's 13 seconds, 12, and I'll start holding the pickle button. Or actually, I'm sorry, this is the first release queue. So we'll wait till the, uh, the second release queue. Okay, so there's the second release queue. In about 10 seconds, I'm going to hold the pickle button down. And you have to change the weight. Notice the waypoints will change very, very quickly as I do this. One, change waypoint, change waypoint, pickle, change waypoint, pickle. Okay, so there's four bombs. So that went really fast, um, but that's <laughs> that's how you do it. Okay, immediately go to a cat one, and let's watch these bombs drop. So here's the first bomb. There's a second bomb, third bomb, and fourth bomb. And there's my aircraft up there. Oh no, that's another bomb. <laughs> one, two, three, and there should be another one somewhere. Okay, so this one looks like it's going for the center target there. Let's go back to our TGP, and I'm going to go wide. So here's our first target, boom. 11, boom, 13, boom, 14, boom. And you can see that all of those targets were hit in one pass. Alright, so that is how you do multiple drops in BMS uh, using the Joint Direct Attack Munition. Hope that helps, and I'll see you guys in the next video.